In this video, we'll convert 1.62 moles of magnesium sulfate heptahydrate to grams. So we have 1.62 moles of magnesium sulfate heptahydrate. And this number 1.62, I just made that up for the video. So we have our 1.62 moles. And when we go from moles to grams, we multiply by the molar mass. And we find the molar mass for magnesium sulfate heptahydrate by adding up the masses of all the individual atoms. So we'd find the molar mass for magnesium sulfate, and then we'd find the molar mass for water. We multiply the molar mass for water by seven. That's what this seven means. We have seven water molecules, and we add all that together to get the molar mass. If you need help finding the molar mass here for MgSO4 7H2O, there's a link in the description and at the end of this video. So when we do that, we end up with a molar mass of 246.52 grams per mole. And the units for molar mass, grams per mole. So now we multiply moles on the top and bottom. They cancel out, and that leaves us with grams. Grams is what we're looking for. So we know we set this up correctly. We multiply, we get 399.36 grams of magnesium sulfate heptahydrate. So to recap, we had moles and we wanted to find grams. So we multiplied by the molar mass for MgSO4 7H2O. If you were given grams and asked to find moles, you'd start with grams and you'd divide by the molar mass and that would give you moles. This is Dr. B converting moles of MgSO4 7H2O to grams. Thanks for watching.